in psychology, the four stages of competence, or the conscious competence learning model, relates to the psychological states involved in the process of progressing from incompetence to competence in a skill. History, initially described as a Euro OE4 stages for learning any new skill a Euro, the theory was developed at Gordon Training International by its employee Noel Birch in the 1970s. It has since been frequently attributed to Abraham Maslow, although the model does not appear in his major works. The four stages of learning provides a model for learning. It suggests that individuals are initially unaware of how little they know, or unconscious of their incompetence. As they recognize their incompetence, they consciously acquire a skill, then consciously use it. Eventually, the skill can be utilized without it being consciously thought through. The individual is said to have then acquired unconscious competence. Several elements, including helping someone know what they don't know or recognize a blind spot, can be compared to some elements of a Joari window, although Joari deals with self awareness, while the four stages of competence deals with learning stages. The four stages of competence, unconscious incompetence, the individual does not understand or know how to do something and does not necessarily recognize the deficit. They may deny the usefulness of a skill. The individual must recognize their own incompetence, and the value of the new skill, before moving on to the next stage. The length of time an individual spends in this stage depends on the strength of the stimulus to learn. Conscious incompetence, though the individual does not understand or know how to do something, he or she does recognize the deficit, as well as the value of a new skill in addressing the deficit. The making of mistakes can be integral to the learning process at this stage. Conscious competence, the individual understands or knows how to do something. However, demonstrating the skill or knowledge requires concentration. It may be broken down into steps, and there is heavy conscious involvement in executing the new skill. Unconscious competence, the individual has had so much practice with a skill that it has become second nature, and can be performed easily. As a result, the skill can be performed while executing another task. The individual may be able to teach it to others, depending upon how and when it was learned. See also, decision theory, including grand strategy, known known, known unknown, and known knowns, and known unknown. Dreyfus model of skill acquisition, Dunning-Euro-Kruger effect, formula for change, illusory superiority, Carl von quarter blair ross model, learning styles, motivation, psychosocial development, skill, solution-focused brief therapy, taxonomy of educational objectives, theory of multiple intelligences, trans-theoretical model. References